Yeah, they've got uh, a bunch of great players start with their running backs. Uh, they're a nightmare, uh, 34, 9, and 8. And then the quarterback has a run or two. Uh, but they're getting the ball to the backs, both the run game and passing game, doing a great job with that. And, uh, and then they've got some great young receivers uh, that uh, are, again, incredibly dangerous, uh, fast, athletic, long, got great ball skills. And, uh, you know, they're deep there. Um, they've, again, they've recruited a number of guys, at top three, top four in the country at, at receiver over the last four years. And uh, they're all over their roster. So they got, they got guys that can run and catch it and know what to do when they, when they get the ball. How big is it to get Trey Lamar back to have that bigger body at back or knowing what you're facing against their run game? Yeah, I mean, again, it's you know I know they've talked they've had some injuries and we've had a we've had a bunch of them too at all three levels all year and so uh, you know it's great to get him back another uh, experienced guy with a big body that can run and uh, it's tough to handle uh, you know at the point of attack so it's it's good. Talked about not feeling like you have a lot of depth, especially along the defensive line. How big is bowl practice to develop that depth and get guys ready for not only? Yeah, it's critical. It's critical. You're right. And moving forward, it'll be uh, it's huge. And uh, to get those guys a bunch of fundamental work, uh, you can slow things down and coach them through some schemes and the whys and the hows. And uh, but as much as anything, the fundamentals they're going to get a ton of fundamental work, and uh, that's critical to the foundation, you know, and their success. Uh, their futures. Frank, you mentioned uh, the moment handing Tony that trophy. Uh, how, what does that say about the consistency that you guys have been able to build? I mean, you're all you're all in place. You've been in place for a while. You know each other really well. How much does that lead to moments like this where you guys are preparing for to chase another national championship? Well, again, Coach Sweeney's done a great job, obviously, of, of uh, you know setting the temperature uh, of the program, the philosophy, the vision. And, uh, and then he's, you know, he's done a tremendous job, job of selling that to the players and the staff and surrounding himself with you know, ambitious, like-minded people that are team-oriented, uh, that believe in, you know, again, the vision and the philosophy and that, that, that work hard at supporting it and implementing it and holding guys to that standard. Um, uh, you know, I think it says as much as that. And I think consistency, uh, you know, the continuity helps in that consistency. And um, so that you're not having to start over and uh, reinstall, uh, you know, with a new staff. That, you know, but we, he does. A, Coach Sweeney does. He is as relentless as anybody I've been around in regards at at, at uh, holding people accountable to uh, the standard, the vision, uh, you know, whatever uh, you know benchmarks that we put in our program for our players and coaches to adhere to. You know, he does a great job of. Because it's easy to kind of drift out of your lane every once in a while. And especially if sometimes you have continuity where guys get too comfortable. He does a great job not allowing us to get comfortable. I love that. And uh, sometimes that's hard, you know, structure, accountability, discipline. But I think any successful uh, organization, uh, business at every level um, thrives um, when, when there is that accountability. And, um, and then again, you have to have enough, uh, uh, you know, where you, guys that are willing to check their ego at the door and be great team guys. And uh, that's how you get stuff done. Did you worry at all? Like, I know how, how well you worked with Chad when he was here. Did you worry at all when Chad leaves and, and Coach is hiring two young guys who haven't really had that experience before? Did you wonder whether that was the right move or did you know? Because they're very, very talented, yeah. uh, innovative, and incredibly ta- uh, uh, intelligent. Uh, you know, some of the best coaches out there. Uh, one of the, the, the prereqs that go with, with most of them is just their intelligence and, and they being good teachers and uh, know how to motivate and, um, uh, and then be able to strategize. Sometimes that's overrated, sometimes it's not, but these guys are smart guys that were, you know, uh, integral parts of the success that we had while Chad was here as well. And um, and then, you know, they've all added their own flavor. There's a, there's a whole team of them over there, uh, <laughs> including Coach Sweeney. So, uh, you know, I'm not surprised one bit. Coach, sorry if you've been asked this, yeah. but your first thoughts when you saw Alabama, given the way the last two games have gone, was it kind of like, oh, my God, again, I 